Now, for more on Putin and the impact of these latest concessions by the Ukraine, I spoke to Professor Sergei Zhuk at Ball State University in the U.S. state of Indiana. People who went to the streets want Yanukovych out of the office, the president and his gang, his group of people from Donetsk who impoverished Ukraine and created this tragical situation in Ukraine. It's him, not Azarov, who need to leave. This is a problem. So what more needs to happen? Because some say that this is quite a step forward. Would you have even foreseen these concessions when the protests broke out two months ago? No, no. And nobody's uh, did this. But um, again, it's a result of radicalization of the movement. Because it started in November, as you remember, just as a peaceful demonstration in support of European Union, Association of Ukraine, with uh, Europe and uh, major leaders of this movement were college students, intellectuals, businessmen, whose businesses were limited and uh, destroyed by Yanukovych people. But after repressions, after involvement of ordinary people in this process, especially unemployed people from Western Ukraine and Eastern Ukraine now, we have a real revolution. Unfortunately, I'm afraid, future uh, civil war. And uh, now the major slogan is not just Europe and not against Russia. It's against corruption, against this bad president who created all this situation in Ukraine. I'd like to get your reaction to what the Russian President Vladimir Putin said recently. He weighed in during a meeting with the EU on what is happening and basically said that the agreements between his country and Ukraine will stay in place even if the opposition formed the next government. So if that is true, will the opposition and its supporters ever get anything reestablished with the EU and, and under what type of scenario? Well, the best kind of scenario will be involvement and engagement of two sides, both representative of East uh, of European Union and uh, Russia. Without this, uh, uh, you know, this collaboration and representation of both sides in, in the future, we can't uh, solve this problem. You mentioned earlier that uh, you know these protesters really want President Yanukovych to step down. So, what is the possibility? of him either stepping down or being forced out at this point? Well, I think that uh, uh, these people who participate in Yevromaidan and Kyiv and in Dnipropetrovsk recently and other places in eastern Ukraine now, uh, they will not leave. Uh, if Yanukovych quit this office or flee whatever, because people hate now Yanukovych and the situation he created, we have growing unemployment, uh, killing jobs or businesses. And uh, many people can stand, uh, you know, his uh, figure even, you know. And uh, I suspect that a future and very bad uh, development of this scenario will be escalation of violence 